For the theory of music, it's really helpful to know our way around a keyboard. So even though we are learning the violin, knowing the note names on the keyboard is a good idea. So first of all, to recognize that on the keyboard, you have a pattern of three black notes and then a space followed by two black notes, space, three black notes, and so it carries on. So you'll see I've drawn two little donkey ears above the two black notes because all donkeys have two ears. I have never seen a donkey with three ears. And in between those two black notes, you will find donkey D, so the note D. And then it just goes up in the alphabet, forwards in the alphabet, I should say, as it goes up in, so in sound, or backwards in the alphabet as it goes down in sound. Remember that the music alphabet goes up to G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then starts again at A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So if I'm looking at the notes, this is D, E, this will be F, G, and then I will start again with A, B, because I'm going up in sound. So if I show you on the keyboard over here, here is my, are my two notes, donkey D, going up in sound, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. And look at that, there are another two donkey ears. And so I will keep going, E, F, G, A, B, C, there's another D, and there are my two donkey ears. So if you're doing it correctly, every time you come between the two black notes, you will have donkey D. Going backwards, so if this is C, going backwards in the alphabet before C, A, B, C, comes B, and then A, and then G, F, and so it goes down. So playing on the keyboard, here is my donkey D, going down C, B, A, G, F, E, D, they're my two donkey ears, C, and so it goes down. This particular note that is written here is a very special note. It is middle C, and all that means is that that is the C that falls in the middle of your keyboard. So a piano is also a good idea to look at. This is my middle C. There are many C's. Here's another one. And here's another one. This is the lowest one on this keyboard. There's middle C. And this is the highest one on this keyboard. Okay, so it's a good idea to know your way around the keyboard. This is middle C written with a little ledger line at the bottom of your treble clef. There's D, which on the violin would be your open string D. And this would be your first finger on the violin, on the D string. And there's the note E. So have a try over here, see if you can copy it out. And I'll check in with you to see if it's correct in a moment. So I've written the notes out at the bottom. Did you manage to draw your treble clef starting on the second line? Spiraling round to the line above and the line below, all the way up and down. Then you draw a ledger line which is the equal spacing as the lines of the stave. The note on there is middle C, D, and E. I'm sure you have done it beautifully.